get into a little anatomy. First, of course, we have the anus, which is the externalmost part of the gastrointestinal system where waste is expelled. Right behind that, we have the external sphincter, which can be controlled consciously. About a quarter to a half an inch above the anus, and right at the opening of the rectum, is the internal sphincter, which is controlled by the automatic nervous system. This is the same part of the brain that controls things like breathing and heart rate, so it's involuntary, there's nothing you can do about it. Right behind the internal sphincter is the rectum. So this is like the final waiting room as far as the gastrointestinal system. It does not store waste, it's just the final frontier of it. It's about five to seven inches long and it's hugged or surrounded by the puborectal sling. So when you have a sense of urgency to actually use the bathroom, the puborectal sling is what is responsible for telling you that you actually have to go. And the internal sphincter at the end of the rectum will also alert you that you have to use the bathroom. So this is where that sense of urgency comes from. If you have a penis, then you also have a prostate, which is located right behind the rectum about a couple of inches in. It's a walnut shaped and sized organ that's responsible for the nourishment, protection, and propulsion of sperm during ejaculation. The prostate is very sensitive and it can actually be stimulated to promote orgasm or to bring a person to orgasm. The prostate can be stimulated both internally or externally. For external stimulation, you could press against the lowest most part of the perineum, which is that strip between the scrotum and the anus on a person with a penis. If you press and lean against that, you can feel a slight bulge, and that is where the prostate is located. The internal parts of the anus and the other areas of the gastrointestinal tract are lined with a mucosal lining. The mucosal lining is very much like the lining on the inside of your mouth. Although there is a moisture balance maintained in the gastrointestinal tract, which includes the rectum and the anus, it's not self-lubricating. So lube is a very important part of the process when it comes to anal sex. There are a couple of terms that I want to get you familiar with that I'll be referring to throughout these different tutorials. So there's the top and the bottom. The top is the person penetrating using either their penis, another appendage, or a toy. The bottom is the person receiving the penetration of a penis, another appendage, or a toy. Being either a top or a bottom has nothing to do with a hierarchy, it's just a matter of your position. So one person isn't dominating the other or overseeing the other, it's just who's doing what in the situation. Keep in mind that with any sexual act, there must be mutual respect and a mutual power structure agreed upon by both people involved.